Trump and then-wife Marla Maples appeared on the TV show Lifestyles of the Rich and Famous back in 1994. Host Robin Leach asked about their daughter Tiffany, who was then just a year old. Now, Donna, what does Tiffany have of yours and what does Tiffany have of Marla's? Well, I think that she's got a lot of moral, and she's really a beautiful baby, and she's uh, she's got um, she's got Marla's legs. <laughs> we don't know whether or not she's got this part yet, but time will tell. We'll <laughs> hey, so uh, uh, Donald, mm. all right, I, I'm I'm afraid to ask this question, but what would you do, Playboy, put Ivanka on the cover of the magazine if she had not? <laughs> this is going to be an interesting answer. <laughs> She he doesn't even want you to have a drink. I know it. So. It would be really disappointing. Not really. But it would depend on what was inside the magazine. Oh. If, no, if oh. she posed, it would be fine. But if they put her picture yeah, on... Yeah, but it depends on what goes inside the magazine. Well, see, that's inside her gripe. Right. That's right. this girl's gripe. Right. Mm -hmm. People there assume nothing. there'll be nude, nude photos. Right, you do assume that with Playboy. Okay, she, but if there weren't, Playboy you wouldn't have an issue with it, then. If they were using her to... I don't think Ivanka would do that inside the magazine, although she does have a very nice figure. I've said that if Ivanka weren't my daughter, perhaps I'd be dating her. You know? <laughs> Stop it! Oh, it's so weird! Stop You it. know what? You are Moving sick. Up. I know, yeah. isn't that terrible? Yeah. No, how well, terrible? you're known for saying is outrageous that things, so Mr. Like Trump. Me. Who are you, Woody <laughs> Allen? <laughs> <laughs> I tend to like beautiful women more than unattractive women. I don't know, maybe that makes me bad. You know, the National Enquirer, Howard, did a story on me not so long ago that in the history of the world, nobody has gotten more beautiful women than I have. If you're looking for a rocket scientist, don't turn in tonight. Right. But if you're looking for a really beautiful woman, you should watch. Do you like girls that are five foot one, they, call it, they come up to you know where? Do women come up to you and ever offer themselves to you? They yes. Ever they'll walk up and they'll flip their top. Woo! Wow. And they'll flip their panties. Oh, Body's beautiful. a 10. What's the face? Well, you never get to the face Oof. because the body's so good. <laughs> Have you ever had sex with a fat woman in your life? I've had sex with women that got fat. I love this. This is fun. Using Jennifer's back to sign a release. Have I what? Ever been with a black woman? Uh... Go ahead and say yes. You had to. Okay? Yes. You have? <laughs> okay, yes. I view a, a person who's flat-chested is very hard to be a 10. How do the breasts look? The breasts are okay. Okay, well, that's important. I think that the, the boob job is terrible. You know, they look like two light bulbs coming out of a body. You know, Paris gets knocked and this and that, but she's very beautiful. Her is she dumb? Is flawless. She's, she's dumb like a fox. And you're going to have more kids? I think so, yeah. Really? I believe it. Yeah, sure. I what do you need that headache for? Because I like kids. I mean, I won't do anything to take care of them. And things with Melania are good. Excellent. The sex is still good. The sex is extraordinary. Well, she is terrific in bed. Now, she wouldn't want me to say that, but she is. Oh, man. She's naked there, isn't she? She is actually naked. Oh, Jesus. It's a thing of beauty. <laughs> oh, what a life you Not have. Not so bad, Robin. This is a candidate. <laughs> hey, hey, Donald. That's yeah, right. Does she wear outfits to bed? Like special outfits? No, she wears nothing. Nothing. Which is much better. You know, she's a great beauty, but she's a great beauty inside, which is almost as important. <laughs> Not really. <laughs> Not probably. Do you treat women with respect? Uh, I can't say that either. All right, good. All right. Somewhere yeah, in between. I, I do. I treat, Guys, women, I treat women with great respect. Treat women somewhere in between respect and uh, doo doo. Fiorina appeared on the TV. Trump blurted, Look at that face. Would anyone vote for that? Can you imagine that? The face of our next president? Nobody came in. Let me say this. Sure. Brandy came in here. She got down on her knees and said, I am passionately want to do this. I, at this point, am the team chooser, not the team leader Excuse yet. Excuse me. You dropped to your knees. 
Yes. And begged to do this. And I said, I'm looking around the room, and we had even Latoya, who sitting beside me, thought maybe Brandy was right. must be a pretty picture you dropped in. John and Dennis thought I should be. Omarosa said me. <laughs> Some other people said you. And in the end of it, I said... You know who's one of the great beauties of the world, according to everybody, and I helped create her? Who? Ivanka. My she daughter, is. Ivanka. Yeah. She's six feet tall. She's got the best body. I need a quick show of hands. Which one of you is most like your father? <laughs> I I, well, yeah. but in fairness, I think we're all like him in very different sure. ways. Your father has said that he was not, I'm using his words, very present when you were growing up. I would challenge him on that yeah. because he was very available to us and accessible to us. Regardless of what he was doing, regardless of who he was meeting with, if we called, he took the phone. I mean, oh, from when we were six years old, I'd call, he'd be negotiating with the CEO of a major bank or whatever it may be, <laughs> and he would make them wait. He'd take the call from us. Our times together were learning, you know, playing in his office. He would always sneak me down to uh, get a candy bar, you know, in the lobby. Who is his favorite? <laughs> I'm going with Ivanka. <laughs> I'm going with Ivanka. <laughs> I'm going with Ivanka. Tiffany, for you, what yeah, would you I think? I think, well, whenever my father puts his heart and soul into something, he goes full force. And when he finally decided to, you know, run for president, I think all of us knew, you know what, here we go. Like, he, he really just worked so hard, and we knew it would be a success. And I had no doubt in my mind that he would get as far as he has. Uh, Ivanka, and what did you think? Well, I think it's it's such a personal decision that ultimately it was one he had to arrive to on on his own. And obviously, as we've all seen um, over the last several months, it's it's a vicious industry politics, much more so than real estate or anything we've ever experienced. So, but we were just incredibly excited for him. I mean, we know what he's capable of. We've stood by his side for the last decade. In my case, a little bit longer in Don's case.
little bit more about you guys. So we play this game here, it's called Fave Five. I'll ask the question, oh. Ivanka, you answer first, and then Dad, you answer also. Okay, Ivanka, what's the favorite thing you have in common with your father? Either real estate or golf. Donald, with your daughter? Well, I was going to say sex, but I can't relate that. Far. A little bit more detail that we're just learning right now, and excuse me as I read it to you. We are told, as it's described, that Dr. Oz said when Ivanka Trump came on stage, it's nice to see a dad kiss his daughter. Trump responded, he kisses her every chance he gets. All right, a big part of his inner circle. Today, his oldest daughter and trusted advisor, Ivanka Trump, is here. Please come on out. because you have a daughter who's a model. I do, and I have to deal with her. She's just 17, and she's doing great, Ivanka, and she made me promise her, swear to her, that I would never date a girl younger than her. <laughs> so, now, as she grows, Howard, as she grows older, right. the field is getting very limited to the early, you know. Yeah, I mean, the nerve of her. Now you can't go out with 16-year-olds. <laughs> Has your father ever said anything on the campaign trail that made you cringe? 
truthfully, no. No, no, no. He's not a big believer in PC culture where every statement you make you have to vet very carefully through thousands of people. Well, you have been saying the most wonderful things about your father. You should be very pleased and proud. If there is one thing you could change about your father, what would it be? Listen, I don't think any of us would be sitting here glowing the way we are if we'd want to change aspects of his personality or who he something. is. I mean, we really something. That's I want him to eat healthier. I, there I, you go. I, I agree with that. He's I'm not going to get one thing. Now, Trump, of course, was introduced by his lovely daughter, Ivanka, you know, Marilyn Munster. <laughs> <laughs> the one they let open the door so strangers don't see all the monsters at once. Yeah, Ivanka said her father has always been there for her, although sometimes she wishes he would sleep in his own bed. Uh, and, um, oh, I did. I kid. The, the media loves Ivanka. They say Ivanka, she is the sharpest, they say, of the Trump kids, which is but, like being the least crazy of the voices in Ben Carson's head. You know, it's, and uh, no, I, the, the media, I, they're, they're so stupid. They always say, if Trump has these great kids, how bad can he really be? First of all, they're not kids. Second of all, not great. Third of all, he didn't raise them. The ex-wives raised them. He had a... It's true. He had very little to do with them until after they graduated college. His kids are like his properties. He doesn't build them. He just puts his name on them. about ISIS than the generals do. John McCain, a war hero. He's not a war hero. He's a war hero. So He's a war hero because he was captured. I like people that weren't captured, okay? Donald Trump compared his sacrifices to the sacrifices of two parents who lost their son in war. How would you answer that, Father? What sacrifice have you made for your country? I think I've made a lot of sacrifices, built great structures. I've had tremendous success. I think those are sacrifices. Lot. Get ready. The wine will flow red, and the music will play loud, and we'll put this mess behind us. <laughs>